Okay, agents. Secret agent man! An agent is something that acts upon something else to make something happen. The oxidizing agent is not what's being oxidized, it's what's causing oxidation to take place. Now remember, oxidation is a loss of electrons. Something can only lose electrons if there's something else there that gains them. So the oxidizing agent is the species that undergoes reduction. Likewise, a species cannot undergo reduction, they can't gain electrons, unless there's another species that's giving up electrons. The reducing agent is the species that undergoes oxidation. Now, when we store our chemicals in the chemical storeroom, there are certain chemicals that are called oxidizers. That's just another term for oxidizing agent. Oxidizers are not chemicals that oxidize, but that cause other chemicals to oxidize. For example, metals. Oxidizers are extremely reactive around metals. So we have to keep the metals and the oxidizers as far away from each other as we can. So if there's a spill, there's no chance that the two are going to mix together. The oxidizer will cause the metals to oxidize. They are the agent of oxidation. In this reaction, lithium is going up in charge and fluorine is going down in charge. The reason this happens is because lithium gives up its electrons to fluorine. Fluorine can't be reduced without lithium giving up its electrons. Lithium causes fluorine to be reduced. Lithium is the reducing agent. But the lithium wouldn't have given up its electrons if fluorine hadn't been there to take them. So the fluorine causes the lithium to be oxidized. Therefore, it is the oxidizing agent. You got chocolate in my peanut butter, you got peanut butter on my chocolate. In this reaction, the magnesium is reduced to zero and the oxygen is oxidized to zero. That means the oxygen gave up its electrons to magnesium. Magnesium could not be reduced without oxygen giving up its electrons. Therefore, magnesium plus two is the oxidizing agent. But the oxygen couldn't have been oxidized if the magnesium hadn't taken those electrons. But the magnesium couldn't have been reduced unless oxygen was there to give it electrons. Therefore, the O minus two is the reducing agent. So to sum up, the oxidizing agent is the species that undergoes reduction. And the reducing agent is the species that undergoes oxidation. They each cause each other to happen. You can't have one without the other. You can't have oxidation without reduction. It's just not going to work. It would be like having peanut butter without marshmallow fluff. What would be the point? <laughs>